Spy Princess. Behold the kingdom of Emberglade, ruled by two wonderful royals, both trusted and loved by their people. They had a daughter named Laura, and she wasn't your typical princess. She was the kind who preferred adventure to royal teas and archery practice to dance lessons. Ha! Who's next? <laughs> Laura, you finished training for the day. Already? Well, it's more about them being finished. <laughs> what about you, Aunt Stella? Aunt Stella was the chief of defense of Emberglade. Laura trained hard and was already amongst the top in the army, but... Uh, one day I'll defeat you. Can't wait! You'll be my successor one day. Well, I'm off to see the gem. Again? Laura bounded up through the palace and stopped at an enormous, heavily guarded door. The gem was no ordinary stone. It was known to bring good luck and had protected the kingdom for generations. However, there was a rumor that in the hands of the kindest, it would bestow a wish. Hmm. I wish to be strongest in all the world. <sighs> Guess I'll just settle for good luck. But that very night, something awful happened. Laura woke up to the sounds of hurried footsteps. How can something like this happen? Mom? Dad? Laura! Laura soon saw what the commotion was about. The gem was missing. Oh no! She ventured through the vault, glancing around. There was no damage. It had been a slick and clean robbery. Huh? What's this? She picked up a golden button, which had a tiny symbol etched on it. A dagger? Well, there's nothing here. We'll search the streets. I want to help. Absolutely not. Let your aunt and soldiers handle it. Hmm. The next morning, however, she found her aunt frustrated. No sign of the thief? Ugh, this robbery is too clean and none of the soldiers are capable of handling it. Plus, I've got this other case concerning the kingdom of Grimsgrove. Something about daggers. Daggers? Grimsgrove was an enemy kingdom. Laura thought about the golden button secretly in her possession. I've got some vague intel that there's some dangerous group. But for now, the gem is a priority. Laura looked thoughtfully. And Stella, let me handle this. You've seen me. Yes, but I need a good soldier and a spy. I can be a good spy. Oh, really? Where's your tiara? Huh? I... Where? <laughs> See? If you train me, there's nothing I can't do. I'm strong and capable. All right. Laura learned to decipher clues, disguise herself, and master the art of subterfuge with unwavering determination. It's time. She disguised herself as a commoner, ready to embark on her mission. I believe in you, my little soldier. I'll make you proud. Laura ventured out into the streets and then finally sneaked out of the kingdom. This button may be related to the dagger group Ant mentioned. After much travel, she finally reached Grimsgrove. Ugh! Oh. Even the name sounds terrifying. Laura moved quietly through Grimsgrove. The people seemed starved of food and life itself. 
Hmm? Laura caught the thieving arm. It belonged to a huge man. But that didn't scare her from tackling him. Hmm. Don't go stealing apples. Huh? That symbol. Keeping to the shadows, Laura trailed the thief as he made his way back to his hideout. <gasps> what took you so long? The thief informed his leader of the happenings. But it's okay. I want to... Ha ha! I found you. <coughs> Laura glanced about. Their boots all held a tiny dagger button, but none were golden. Why has a child like you decided to visit a band of thieves? I guess you're their leader? I've heard of your, er, uh, reputation. I've always wanted to, uh, join a band of thieves. And why should I agree? I already found your hideout, thwarted one of your men, as you've already seen my skill. You knew I was watching you in the market? Yes, I knew. The leader, while suspicious of her, was impressed by Laura. My name's Angus, and I welcome you to the Dagger Royale. In order to find the jewel, she had to gain their trust. She taught them tricks and skills from her years of royal training and ran small errands with them. Hmm, what's with this kingdom? Grim's Grove is ruled by Prince Mortimer. He doesn't care about his people. That's horrible. That's why we turned to stealing. Didn't you want to be thieves? Of course not. I wanted to build ships. And I wanted to be a florist. But well, Angus found us when we were at our worst and... He's looked after us since. But where did the orders come from? He won't tell us. Maybe it's the prince since our name is Dagger Royale. <laughs> <laughs> this caught Laura's attention. Could the actual Dagger Royal leader be Prince Mortimer? That night, she took a chance. So I heard about the Emberglade Jewel Heist. Well, how did you? Word gets around. I'm impressed. That kingdom's got a ton of security. He glared at her warningly and left. Laura decided to follow him. She trailed him, keeping absolutely still at times. Where's he going? Huh? Angus was whispering with someone. Suddenly, something caught her eye. It's the buttons. But who? The Ember Clay Jewel doesn't work. Find a way. <gasps> the jewel? Oh. Angus trudged back to the hideout. Laura looked around, but the other person had disappeared. Dread it. The next day, however, Laura was out on an errand and she spotted the same golden button boots being carried away by the palace maid. Oh, <gasps> it's them. Oh, ma'am. Excuse me, do you have any business with my boots? Laura spun around to see Prince Mortimer glaring at her. How dare you take away my good clothes? I had to run after you just to retrieve them. Um... I'm sorry, you're... How rude. Rude? You dare speak to me like that? I can dispose of you in an instant. I'm not like your boots to be disposed of. I'm a person. Who cares? And I'm not disposing of my boots. Not yet, at least. Mortimer stormed off, and Laura consoled the maid. She had been given the task to dispose old clothes. She must have mistakenly taken them. He is the leader of the thieves. But what does he mean by not yet? Laura worked it all out in her mind. Perhaps once he gets his way, he'll dispose of the thieves too. Laura rushed back to the hideout. Angus, the prince is a cruel man and doesn't care for his band of thieves. Angus was shocked. The, the prince? What are you... Oh, I pieced it all together. Mortimer is the real ringleader of the Dagger Royal, but he means to eliminate you all after he's used you. 
She told him all about what Mortimer had said. I don't believe that. He wouldn't do that to us. We've served him for years. Angus, I'm Princess Laura from the Kingdom of Emberglade, and I've come to regain my stolen jewel. You... <gasps> Angus and Laura swirled around to find the thieves listening. They'd all heard everything. You're a princess? Why are you all standing there? Capture her. But none of them moved. Listen, help me retrieve the jewel and in exchange, I'll help you restart your lives. You expect us to trust you? Well, if she wanted us captured, she would have already called for help. Let me prove it. Let's stage a fake heist and I'll tackle the prince. If he confesses and I'm right, you give me the jewel. This seemed like a plausible plan, and so everyone agreed. Laura and a few of the thieves snuck through the dimly lit corridors of the palace. Shh, go and find the jewel. She saw the prince. Who's there? Finally, we meet. You! Who are you? I'm Laura, Princess of Emberglade. I've come to retrieve something you've stolen. Keep dreaming, little girl. I will use the jewel's magic to become the strongest in the world. Er, how did you steal it so easily? Oh, I spent months planning. And a little help from some lowly thieves who'll be rid of shortly. Lowly rid of. The thieves were deeply hurt. Now do you believe me? The prince watched as the thieves revealed themselves. Oh, you traitor. We've served you faithfully for years. You were always disposable. Just then, the thief returned with a jewel. Ha, we've got it. Unfortunately, they were soon surrounded by Mortimer's soldiers. <laughs> That's a fake. The real one's with me. You're horrible. You step on your subjects and use people for your own selfish gains. Ha! What? No! Run, Laura! No, I won't leave you. At that very moment, the gem shone bright. Its powers were awakened at Laura's kindness. I wish for power to defeat the evil Mortimer. At once, the thieves grew stronger and their weapons bigger. They easily defeated the soldiers, but Mortimer ran. Laura, however, wasn't giving up. Going somewhere? Ah! Uh, oh! Hmm. Little girl, you'd better get ready to surrender to the best sword fight. Huh? Eek. I've got way better skills than you. You're done. Still trying, huh? You'll never catch me. When did you? How? <laughs> Laura returned to Emberglade, victorious, with the jewel. Her mission was successful, but in all that, she didn't forget her deal. She gave the thieves the help they needed, and they happily lived the lives they always wanted. You wanted to run an orphanage? Always. Since the Prince of Grimsgrove was now captured, she and her parents took over and transformed the Grim Kingdom into a wonderful place. I knew you could do it. You believed in me. So did the gem. Laura restored hope to her kingdom and continued to use her intelligence and courage to serve her people well.